Well, this is a very interesting case. This old man had a, an ophthalmitis after individual injection. You see the intraoperative picture. Six weeks later I plan to remove silicon oil and now there is a black membrane in the pupil. You don't see the IOL. So here again the uh, operative video. I'm trying now to remove the membrane in the pupil. So this is an Ukrainian anterior segment scissors. I'm cutting the membrane. It is black. Now you can also see the IOL. Now I'm also using an Hattenbach iris forceps from Goida, Germany. And with these two instruments the removal of the membrane is uh, quite forward going. A very unusual finding after a vitrectomy for an ophthalmitis. Uh, the bacterium was Streptococcus agalactica, which is B. streptococci, and it was one day after injection an ophthalmitis occurred with a very strong inflama inflammatory erection. So this is part of the post-operative inflammatory reaction and very unusual. Here you see this um, black membrane which I place on the cornea. Okay, so the next step is of course silicon oil removal. I always use silicon oil tamponade for an ophthalmitis because it has antibacterial uh, properties. And now comes actually the interesting finding on this video. Please observe the white retina at the inferior pole. The complete inferior pole is covered by a white tissue. The superior pole is normal and there are some hemorrhages at the central pole. Staining with trypan blue to visualize the structures better. And here I can remove some either residual posterior hyaloid or fibrin. But I can tell you now this is all what I can remove on membranes in this eye. But I will show you. I will try to remove more membrane. I'm working now at the posterior pole. And all these membranes are very, very firmly attached to the retina. I try also to dissect with an Atkinson cannula. But no chance. The same at the inferior pole. This white tissue is very firmly attached to the retina. This is a contact lens from Oculus Germany. I try to repeat the membrane peeling with a higher 
magnification and here I am removing some white tissue at the inferior pole but I fear that I will create a retinal tear. The tissue is very very firmly attached so I give up and decide to re-inject silicon oil into this eye So this is a fluid against air exchange and now injection of 1000 centisteric silicon oil. My setup is usually 27 gauge and 125 gauge trocar cannula. So my explanation for is this is as follows. Thank you very much.